Hi everyone, today I am going to start the second part of the lesson heat. In this lesson, I am going to discuss about the specific latent heat and the expansions of solids, liquids and gases. Finally, the methods of heat transfer. Okay, first we are going to start about the latent heat. What is the meaning of this latent heat? The heat absorbed by the system without changing its temperature while the change of state is taking place. Now in this graph you can see that there is a change of status. At the first part you can see the solid is changing into liquid. Right? When the temperature is gradually increasing the solid will be turned into liquid. But in graph you can see there is a place with the constant temperature while solid turn into liquid. That part is known as the latent heat of fusion. Fusion means the changing of state from solid to liquid. Then when we are increasing the temperature further, the liquid will change into the gaseous in state. In that part also you can see a place with the constant temperature that is known as the latent heat of vaporization. Vaporization means the changing of liquid into gas. Now we are moving to the specific latent heat of the fusion, right? You know what is the meaning of fusion? Fusion means the change of state which a solids turn into a liquid, right? The fusion. Now here specific latent heat of fusion means the amount of heat required to change the state of a unit mass of a solid substance at its melting point into the liquid state, right? Now here you can see in the diagram also the solid will turn into the liquid, right? In that case that in that occasion there is a term which known as the specific latent heat of the fusion. Now here specific latent heat of vaporization. What is the meaning of vaporization? Vaporization means changing of liquid into gaseous state, right? Now in this diagram also I have given the way of turning liquid into water vapors, right? So the definitions for specific latent heat of vaporization is the amount of heat required to change the state of a unit mass of a liquid substance of its boiling point into the Yes, is state, right? Right, now thermal expansion. What can you see in my example? Right, the iron rod is heating by a flame, right? When the temperature of the iron rod is increasing, you can see that the length of the iron rod is gradually increasing. So that is the thermal expansion, right? The increase in dimension of a substance subject to an increase in temperature is known as thermal expansion, right? If we increase the temperature of an object gradually, the dimension of that substance also gradually increase. Then thermal contraction. The decrease in dimension of a substance subject to a decrease in temperature. When we are gradually decreasing the temperature of an object, its dimension will gradually decrease. Now we are going to discuss about the expansion of solids, right? In this practical, what can you see, right? There are two diagrams of a practical. In the first diagram, you can see there is a metal ring and a metal ball, right? Then the second diagram shows the result after heating that metal ball. What can you see? After heating the metal ball, you can't put that through the metal ring. So what is the reason for that? The expansion of a metal ball. That means the expansion of solids. After we heat in the metal ball, its dimension has increased and we cannot move it through the iron ring. Right? So as a result of heating, the metal ball has expanded. Right? So we can come to a conclusion that the solid expand when they are heated up. 
now expansion of liquids now here you can see there is a conical flask which fill with water and there is a capillary tube and also there is a thermometer right inside thermometer also there is a red color liquid right after we heating that liquid level in the capillary tube goes up what happened after heating the liquid particles absorb the heat and they are subjected to expansion right when the liquid inside the conical flask heat up the liquid also begin to expand right then the liquid level rises up this thermal expansion of liquid are used in the thermometer in here also you can see the thermometer the thermometer also increases its temperature when the temperature rises up and the liquid inside the thermometer also rises up now expansion of gases in here also i have provided a diagram of a practical setup in the first diagram you can see there is a glass bottle and there is a balloon which has attached at the mouth of the glass bottle and the system has kept in the warm water when the bottle is placed inside the warm water the air particles absorb heat and air expands then the air particles move upward but the air particles cannot leave the bottle because of the balloon attached to it after collecting all the air particles the balloon inflated so what will be the conclusion the gas is also subjected to expansion now heat transfer what is the meaning of heat transfer heat passing from one place to another place right there are three ways of heat transmission they are conduction convection and radiation in this example also you can see the way of heat passing from one place to another place so heat transmission as i said earlier there are three main methods of heat transfer they are conduction of heat convection of heat and radiation of heat conduction of heat let's look at the diagram it shows the mechanism of conduction of heat the metal rod is heated by a flame at one end when the atoms at that end begin to vibrate by receiving thermal energy then the atoms gain a kinetic energy from the flame as a result of the kinetic energy these atoms collide with adjacent atoms then heat energy transfer from one end to the another along the rod so that is the mechanism in conduction of heat now convection of heat as in this diagram when the heat is supplied to a liquid or gas they expand and they decrease in the density and they get the ability to move upwards so in order to fill these gaps liquids or gas particles with lower temperature move downwards due to this process heat flows upward from the region where heat is supplied this is known as the convection in this diagram also you can see that convection currents thermal radiation the way of heat transfer without the participation of atoms the propagation of heat in the form of electromagnetic radiation from a warm body without the aid of matter is known as thermal radiation heat from the sun reach the earth as thermal radiation thank you very much hope to meet you soon with a new lesson